एवरीवन वेलकम टू जेम केम नाउ टुडे इज वीडियो इज ऑन आयनिक बॉन्डिंग पार्ट नाइन वीडियो एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद फजान्स रूल ऑफ पोलराइजेशन नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑलरेडी एट वीडियोज आर अपलोड इन चैनल यू कैन वॉच इट आई विल गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज वेल एज द आई बटन प्रेजेंट अबाउव दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू जेम केम डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर रेगुलर अपडेट्स नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट सो वॉट डज फाजान्स rule of polarization state it actually assumes that all the compounds are fully ionic in nature and these ionic compounds actually develop covalent characters when certain changes is made so what it states is that fajan assume that all compounds are fully ionic in nature and develop covalent character if first is size of cation is small now remember one formula that is ionic potential where it states that charge of the cation divided by the size of the cation so if the charge is high and the size is small then our ionic potential is high so smaller the size of the cation higher will be its ionic potential and thus we will get greater covalent character of the corresponding compound so from here we can conclude that higher the ionic potential higher will be our covalent character next one is size of anion is large so we will have covalent character in the compound and the last part is that presence of excess d electrons in the cations so it is due to the greater number of d electrons what happens is that there is a poor screening effect if you want to read about screening effect then i have already covered it in the periodic properties video you can watch it I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present about this video. Now, so as a result of d electrons, there will be poorer screening effect, resulting in greater effective nuclear charge. And since there is a greater effective nuclear charge over cation, greater will be its polarizing power, and hence the corresponding compounds will have greater covalent character. So what I told is written in here that is greater number of d electrons in cation. poor screening effect will occur and greater effective nuclear charge as a result there will be greater polarizing power more the polarizing power more the covalent character now from here only we can say that nacl and cucl has the radius of the cations nearly equal but cucl is highly covalent because we know that cu that is copper is transition metal as a result of which it has d electrons so it has more covalent character now a question is being asked will hgcl2 or agi2 be highly covalent now the question is very important right so what is the configuration of mercury it is 4f14 5d10 6s2 and in the compound it becomes 4f14 5d10 that is two electrons are going away so from here only we can see that there is d contraction plus f contraction as a result of which effective nuclear charge gets extremely high and the polarization of cations towards anions also becomes greater so thus it will have high covalent character now another point to remember is that greater the ionic character higher will be the magnitude of lattice energy and stronger will be the lattice therefore they will have high thermal stability as well as higher melting point from here we can solve many questions suppose you are asked that lcl is more soluble in organic solvents but nacl readily dissolves in aqua solution so what is the reason for this one so we have here two cations right that is na plus and li plus and our anion is same that is cl minus so from here only we can understand that the size of na plus is much greater than li plus this is smaller in size so since it is smaller in size so the positive charge present around it which is plus 1 will be more and it will be more closer to it then what happens is that since the positive charge density will be higher as a result of this there will be more value of ionic potential which we have obtained previously that is charged by the size 
From here we can write that since there is a high ionic potential, there is greater polarizing power. So for LiCl, according to the Fajan's rule, it must be that LiCl is more covalent. Since covalent compounds are more soluble in organic solvent, LiCl is more soluble in organic solvents. Unlike NaCl which is more ionic in nature due to the larger size of Na plus compared to Li plus, it dissolves in aqueous solution. Now let us go to the next question. Our next question is in TiCl4 and TiCl2 which is more volatile that is which undergoes reaction very fast easily and which one will be more soluble in organic solvent. If we look into the electronic configuration of titanium, it is 3D to 4S2, right? So in TiCl2, it will be titanium 2 plus. So two electrons will be going away from 4S2. And if it is TiCl4, then two electrons will be going away from D orbital. As a result, the size of Ti4 plus will be small and it will be covalent in nature and more volatile. Thus, it will be soluble more in organic solvent. Next question is, we have to compare the thermal stabilities of Na2CO3, MgCO3 and Al2CO3 whole 3. Now, as we move from sodium plus, magnesium 2 plus to aluminium 3 plus, there is a gradual decrease in the size. And since there is a decrease in the size, there will be increase in the positive charge density which we have already seen. And if there is an increase in positive charge density, the ionic potential will also increase in this order. Then what happens? We can write hence by Fajan's rule, there is a gradual increase of the covalent character from sodium plus to Mg2 plus to Al3 plus. That is Na2CO3 is least covalent whereas Al2CO3 whole 3 is most covalent. So ultimately we get the covalent character. Now we have to derive the thermal stability. So since we are seeing that the order follows like this, we can say that we increase in the covalent character, the lattice gradually becomes weaker, thereby accounting for gradual decrease in the thermal stability from Na2CO3 to MgCO3 to Al2CO3 whole 3. In fact, the polarizing power of Al3 plus is so high that even at room temperature it dissociates to form Al2O3 plus CO2. Now a question present here is to compare the thermal stabilities of this sulfates. So you have to solve it on your own. Do write the answer in the comment box if you can. I will solve it in the next video. Now we will see an important fact regarding the Fajan's rule. So one of the solubility criteria is that the size of the cations and anions in a solution must be similar. Then there will be efficient packing in the lattice and such lattice are expected to have lesser solubility in water if they are similar in size. This example for this fact is that AGBR, AGCl and AGI when added when 1 is to 1 ammonia so we are taking one amount of AGBR and same amount of ammonia solution. So what happens is that this AGCL dissolves completely forming this kind of cation where the size of cation is much higher than that of anion. So it gets completely soluble. In the next case we have AGBR where there is much lesser dissolved wing because the size of cation is not much higher than that of Br- minus. that is this one is more or less comparable and the last one is solubility is the least as because the I minus and this cation have same nearly same size accounting for weaker solubility. So this fact is very much important to understand right. Now see these two questions. These two questions will be solved in the next video related to Fajan's rule and we will also deal with the drawbacks of the radius ratio rule in the next video. So this much for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.